Good morning, guys. It's Laurie from Passionate Penny Pincher, and today we are doing a freezer Friday cooking challenge. This is kind of what my kitchen looks like when I'm prepping ahead for one. It takes me about an hour to plan for a video. It wouldn't take me as long if you're actually making them. You can probably make six meals in under an hour. They are so good. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I also wanna let you know that today, right now, if you snag this, we have our menu planning starter kit here. And the menu planning starter kit includes a freezer box, freezer menu planning box with 12 weeks of recipes, slow cooker menu planning box with 12 weeks of recipes, a beautiful blue recipe tin, two of these freezer bag stand stickers, your freezer cards, and a wood block. It is normally $99. It is on sale for $79 today. If you want to snag it, it would be a great time to check it out. Okay, let's make some ranch Parmesan chicken tenders. We're gonna start with this one. I went ahead and I'm, I am kinda did this a little bit ahead so that you could really just see things go pretty quickly. So I'm hoping this will help. As you're hopping on, tell me what you're making for dinner tonight. Tell me where you are from. This is the Ranch Parmesan Chicken Tenders. And all I'm doing is I'm taking, hang on, that camera view is terrible. I've got ranch sauce here. This is a little bit of panko plain breadcrumbs, some Parmesan cheese, some a teaspoon of garlic powder, and that's it. And all you're gonna do is you're just gonna drench your chicken. I like to do chicken tenders. These are a little bigger than I like, but they're, I was in a hurry this morning. Um, so you go ahead and just take your chicken tenders, you dip them in the ranch, then you dip them in the panko crumbs. I like to get them really coated really well. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna flash freeze these. So I'm gonna show you what that is. When you flash freeze something, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and make it you're gonna put it onto a tray like this. So you can see, I've just got them really close together on a tray like this. You will freeze these for a couple hours. Like I usually freeze mine for maybe three or four hours. You probably don't need to freeze them that long. Then you pop them in a plastic bag and they are good to go. So that is meal number one. I'm gonna take my stuff over to the sink while I wash my hands. I'll let y'all take a peek at what's on the rest of the room. Can y'all see that? Okay, I'll be right back. Let me just wash my hands because I touched chicken and that's disgusting. So what are y'all having for dinner? I hope you've had something yummy. I have to tell you that today, as I was prepping, my daughter and I always have a morning phone call. She's a sophomore in college. And so she called me and she, I, she asked me what I was making. And when she heard, she wants the Hawaiian grilled chicken. She actually was like, I was running late for Facebook Live. And she was like, mom, can you just text me that picture because I'm about to go to the store. So I texted her the recipe really fast because She's my kiddo and they take precedence. So anyways, it was cute. She was like, you can tell your readers I really wanted it too. So this is, can y'all see that really well? I think you can see that. Okay, all this is is some salmon. Now I am actually not gonna mix this because we're gonna eat this this weekend. So you've got your salmon. You're gonna keep that separate. In a separate container, you're gonna mix together a quarter cup of honey, two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce, two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce. This one's so simple. A tablespoon of rice vinegar. Oops, maybe a little bit much. A tablespoon of sesame oil. And I'm just guessing, you guys, because I've made a bunch, so I'm not worried about it. A tablespoon of squeezed ginger. Three cloves of garlic, which y'all know I'm gonna use my garlic. I really hope y'all are seeing this. And then that's it. So what I'm gonna do, because I know I'm gonna make this super fast, is I'm actually just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna mix this up right here. And because we're gonna make it this weekend, we're gonna serve it over some salads. I love having an easy salmon marinade on hand because it's so good for you. Um, I'm just gonna mix it in this and I'm gonna put it in a bag. If you're freezing this, here's what I would do. You could just freeze the sauce. You don't even have to freeze the salmon with it. The recipe says you can go ahead and put the salmon in a separate bag, but I hate wasting extra plastic if I don't have to. So that way I've just got my marinade ready to go. And y'all, here's the trick that I wanna show you. I don't know if I can show this to you. As I'm doing a freezer meal, this is the biggest tip that I have. If you can, you can see my kitchen. As I'm going to make things go faster, I come over and I clean things up as I go because otherwise you end up with such a big mess at the end, you feel a little overwhelmed. So this way you won't feel as overwhelmed as you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe up that counter really fast, move my marinade over. I'll put these down at the end. Here we go, clean that off, put this down here, put my marinade down there, we're good to go. Moving to the next recipe, this is the one Caroline you wanted. This is the 
Hawaiian grilled chicken. Now don't forget, right now we have that deal on the bundle. There's a link in the video for it if you're interested in it. It's gonna include two of these freezer bag stands as well as oodles of great menu plans. You will love it, you will not be disappointed. What we're gonna mix together here, let me tell you my trick. The recipe says to mix together in a bowl. Y'all, I'm gonna mix together it in a bag. Cup of brown sugar, three quarter cups of ketchup, one third cup of chicken broth, a three quarter cup low sodium soy sauce. So I'm gonna mix that. Y'all, I'm all about using as few containers as I can because I don't like doing dishes. One other big tip when you're doing these is make sure that you go ahead and as much as you can, make sure your dishwasher is, start with an empty dishwasher and all your dishes done. That will change your life. Then also um, have your trash bag empty. Okay, so we've got our cup brown sugar, three quarter cup ketchup, one third cup chicken broth, three quarter cup low sodium soy sauce. We're gonna add a little bit of garlic. And that one is done. And instead of, it says you can mix that all in a bowl, but I'm gonna mix it all in the bag. So remember that brown sugar was pretty rough. So I'm gonna get that mixed up. I'm hoping y'all can see this really, really well. Also, if you guys would hit the share this button, we will enter you to win a $25 Amazon gift card. Has anybody else made this one? It's so easy, like look. Don't ever waste an extra bowl if you don't have to for mixing. I do like to kind of press the air out of these guys so it can flee freeze flat. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my baby card, which I just set over, where did I set my baby card at? I saw it this morning. Oh, there it is, okay. I'll put my baby card with the directions right here so that when we see it in the freezer, it's easy to know how long it's gonna take to thaw, exactly what the directions are. It's gonna make your life so simple. So go ahead and get that done. Oh, and there comes the marinade. Hang on, you guys. They do, that's why I like to double bag them. I wish there was a better alternative, but that's what we got. Okay, there's that. It is definitely spilling a little bit. These are great value bags. For the most part, they're pretty good, but they're not quite the same quality of like a Ziploc, Ziploc or a hefty bag. Let's go ahead and get that cleaned up really quickly. And we'll scoot to the next one. The next one is, um, See, the next one is a breakfast casserole. I feel like y'all are really top down. Do y'all like seeing that close down? I hope you guys, guys like it. I'm not able to see your comments as much. Let me hop in and see if I can see a few comments. Good morning, Cindy, so glad to see you. You know, I like it better. Y'all know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn this around so that I can see your comments. Hang on. And then you guys can see easier too, I think. Let's see. Okay, that's gonna be a better view for all of us. Hang on, that way I can see your comments as I cook. I always have to remember to flip it around. How's that, can y'all see good now? Okay, this is the, what are we making now, girlies? We are making the hash brown and ham breakfast casserole. We've got 20 ounces of hash browns. We're gonna add over that one and a quarter cups, one and a half cups of Colby Jack cheese. Let me make sure this is right. Okay, you sprinkle this with cheese. This is such an easy one, and it's great to have on hand for like brunches throughout the spring, Easter brunch, anytime you need just a quick and easy meal, this is great. Then you're gonna do a cup of chopped ham. You could add more or less if you wanted to. You're gonna do, make sure I get this right, ham, green chilies. I am gonna get a fork to do those really. The one thing I like about freezer cooking that makes me probably enjoy freezer cooking more than even having them done is that all of my grocery shopping and menu prepping is done, so it's really easy to then just, there's no decision fatigue on this. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not sitting there thinking, oh, what am I gonna make for dinner? I've gotta go buy groceries. The groceries are all done. Everything's done ahead of time so that I can make them easily without ever having to say, oh, maybe we should be out tonight because I didn't make a plan. The plan is done for me, and it makes it just really, really, really simple. The next thing I'm gonna do is add some green onions. Let me make sure that's right. Yep, ham, green chilies, and green onions. Y'all, this is such a nice, flavorful hash brown casserole. You could do this for breakfast, you could do it for dinner. It's a hearty, nice, hearty meal. Then we've got our eggs. 
And now I've mixed together a, four eggs here, a little bit of salt and pepper, and I'm gonna add a can of evaporated milk. And I'm gonna, y'all are gonna laugh, but I'm literally walking myself to the dishwasher now because just like you guys, I've gotta get to work as soon as this is done. So I try to do, I try to touch everything if I can once, and that way I just get it over with really, really quickly. You love this breakfast casserole. It's so easy, Sarah. I love hearing that you love it. Y'all, tell me which has been your favorite recipe box that we have. Do, does anybody have the newbie starter kit? The newbie starter kit is on sale today. It is $79. It is a deal. It includes a slow cooker box, a freezer box, two freezer bag stands, uh, menu planning stickers, the blue recipe tin, it is a steal. It is such a good value right now. So if you have ever debated trying one of our meals, this is the time to try it out. That one is done, you guys, so simple. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add over top of that a some plastic wrap. And my thing is not tearing well, so I hate when my, these guys, I hate when they get messy. Do y'all hate that? It drives me crazy. Um, we're gonna get that done. This one is just such a good, easy one. This is one you can send with your kids. The one thing I do wanna warn you about is if you send this with someone other than yourself, especially someone who maybe won't read the instructions, it is very important that they know to take that plastic wrap off. Otherwise, they're gonna have a plastic mess in the oven. So make sure if you're giving this one to someone else to warn them. This is also one you can easily separate into a couple different things. Then what I like to do is take my baby card, pop it right there on top, easy, easy, easy way for them to know exactly what to do. And it says thawing refrigerator overnight. It doesn't say remove. We should have said remove the plastic wrap because you definitely want to move that. Okay. We're down to the last recipe over here. Y'all, I can't even believe every time I do this, I get faster. <laughs> I love it. Wowza. Sounds amazing. Great gift option. It is such a good deal. Sarah, thank you so much. Yeah, it is a really, really good deal. Okay. So this is the Asian beef lettuce wraps. And what you're going to do with these is you need one pound of ground beef. I have already mixed together in here because I wanted to like not make this the longest video ever. Um, three tablespoons of honey, three tablespoons low sodium soy sauce, a tablespoon of sesame oil, a tablespoon of ketchup, three green onions, two cloves of garlic, and a little bit of red pepper flakes. So all I'm going to do with these is I'm just going to pour this right there. Done. That's it. I mean... How easy is that one? Then I'll take my bag. I hate that the lighting is a little funky here. Sorry, guys. Um, there's my bag. I give it a good smush in the bag. So smush it real good. You write on the foil bag, take off. You know what? That is such a good idea. Allison, I'm going to do that right now. That is such a good point. You guys, if you do that, the reason you do that is for freezer burn. I honestly, a lot of times, will just double foil it, and then I'm not worried about it if they do happen to do that. But that is such a smart idea to do it that way. What I love too is if you ever double these recipes, it's really nice if you double them to just stick two, two of these in a bag and that way you're not wasting as many bags. So there we go. We've got our Asian link beef lettuce wraps. I am gonna write down on here right now. Here we go. I'm gonna show y'all what we did. And I'll answer any quick questions. If you have any quick questions, let me know what they are and I will try to help you with these. I promise that these recipes are the best. We are debating coming out with more freezer recipes and I am so ready because we use these so often. They're probably my family's favorites. I cannot find a pen here to write that with. I'll put it with this. Remove plastic. That's very messy. There we go. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So we just finished, y'all, that did not take long at all. We finished the hash brown ham casserole, Asian beef lettuce wraps, the salmon, the ranch and Parmesan chicken tenders, and the Hawaiian grilled chicken. So not too bad at all. Oh, and did you wanna see, does anyone wanna see the lemon? The lemon bars. So I also did these this morning. I have to tell you, this each one has a week of recipes. I have an issue with my oven. Can y'all see my oven issue? It does not bake evenly. What do you do? I, we got, when we bought this house, this oven was here and it is not my favorite oven, but I'm hoping once I put this on, they're gonna look great. I'm gonna take my husband and his, I'm gonna take them for my husband's office. So I think they'll eat them either way. 
But why? I know, more freezer meals, y'all know. I want more freezer meals too. I'm fighting for it. We have an idea that's really fun, so let me just tell you, it's gonna be fun. There we go, y'all. We just did it super fast. You, more freezer meals. I knew you guys would like more freezer meals. I would like them too, for sure. Okay, let me flip this around one more time if I can. Bars, I know. Should I cut them up? They look so good. They look so good. Okay, let me pop this around one more time. Oh, phew. That, I think that may have been the fastest freezer Friday I've ever done in my whole life. My hair is kind of wild. But I wanna tell you super fast, the menu planning starter bundle, in honor of Freezer Friday, I thought I would do a deal for you guys. And what it includes is, you can't see me because my camera is not acting right. Turn the dish way halfway. Oh, that's a good idea. Turn the dish halfway. Thank you for that. That's, I was like, what do I do with this? The menu planning starter kit. So if you know anybody, please share this with them. It is such a good deal today. $79, it includes the freezer box, which y'all know is everybody's favorite. The slow cooker box, which is by far, by far, this is our number one most popular seller. It was our first box, but also has been, I think our, yeah, it's hands down been our top seller. It includes a really pretty recipe tin that, in, that will actually hold two sets of boxes so you could put all of your recipes into the box so you don't have to think about anything. It also includes two freezer bag stands, the stickers, this. It is such a good deal. So definitely check it out if you are interested in trying out freezer meals. Y'all, these are so good. I know you will love them. I hope y'all have an amazing day. No matter what you do, thoughts and chicken, make dinner for your family. I am praying a beautiful day for you. We will talk soon. Bye guys.